66 of our claim with State Farm. Right there. I uh, got a letter yesterday that made me really upset. Uh, I feel like sometimes that I'm dealing with four-year-old children. Uh, we do things that uh, we've been over backwards for, or whatever. We had LNS plumbing and heating, and heating, and heating, do an estimate for the plumbing and the heating. How ironic. Um, I guess they're not, it's just not good enough. Nope. Because they haven't been doing it for freaking 60 years. Uh, so, so then we get into the four-year-old mode. State Farm's all like, why? Why? You're pulling on your arm. Why? Like, um, why does it cost this much? They wanted to break it all down. Whatever. Uh, but we turned in an uh, electrical estimate that was just a lump sum because that's what electricians do. They look at a house and they know what they're doing. And they're like, well, that'll cost, you know, whatever kind of money. And that's their estimate because they're good at what they do. God bless them. So that's what LMS Plumbing and Heating did. They looked at the house and they're like, well, you know, it needs a new furnace because. While the steam was blowing through our house, that was actually boiled sewage, State Farm. Um, it shorted out the furnace and it turned on all by itself. I didn't see this personally, but I was told that by Greg from their preferred vendor. You know who their preferred vendor is? <laughs> They're assholes. They did a really bad job. It was Surf Pro out of Grand Rapids. Just botched the whole freaking thing. So, whatever. <clears throat> so, I've gotten to the point now to where day 166, I'm calling out names. I don't care. They want to play four year old games, fine, I can too. I can uh, I can draw little little mean names on, on the ground with my sidewalk chalk. Mm. Doug Flatness is an a-hole. That's our claims adjuster. He's a jerk. And then, uh, whatever. It's all sorts of stuff not happening quite like we wanted to. Uh, things slow down quite a bit because of all these uh, inadvertent kind of delays and all this other crap. Ola. So. We're kind of getting to the point now where we actually kind of believe that we're just going to get cut off to right where we are right now. Everybody's just like, eh, eh, if you guys. No, if you guys. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Go to Washington first where it's legal, a-holes. So, we're not happy. It's day 166 and we don't know where we're going. 166 days. That's five months and... 10 days or some shit like that. I try to be really patient. But a person can only run so long before they run out of patience because um, it's like dealing with four year old kids. Why? 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 Why is it so much? Why is it like that? Well, if you were to do your homework, state freaking farm, um, your detailed estimate that I had gotten had a lot of details to it. That's why it's called detailed. And if you were good and proficient at what you did, maybe your freaking numbers would have been right the first time. Where we came up with $43,000 on your first freaking estimate, and the second one was almost twice that. Maybe we should question your ability to do your job instead of you questioning everyone else on how to do their job. So that's what it comes down to. Uh, I don't think it that I know what you're doing and you know what you're doing and it's just playing games and you're acting like a bunch of jerks I scratch my nose when I say jerks uh, yeah so if you want to mess with somebody that's fine, don't mess with me I got all the time in the world my ladies at preferred relocation services or whatever in the hell they're called do a pretty good job we got a roof over our head pretty nice house 
comfortable here. We like it here. If I'd ever get any freaking money from you a-holes, I'd actually try and think about talking to landlords and purchasing this house because I'd like to stay here. Because the neighbors are awesome. The neighborhood's pretty awesome. And it's somewhat sort of comparable to what we had before. Which is, on average, in this town, at about $100,000. And I don't have anywhere near that right now to just try and move on, if that were the case. Uh, in, in my incurred uh, expenses on the things that came up with the structural engineer were figured into our claim, we would be fine. Fine. Whatever. That's fine. Whatever. Let's just rebuild the house and get on our lives, right? Well, no. We can't do that now. You know why? Because the freaking house doesn't have no heat. It's very clay-based soil in that area. I talked to one of the neighbors that had bought an empty lot right next to him because the house sat for two years empty and the clay pushed the basement in. So good frickin' luck in March.